to another video. It is Avery. And your girl, Labai. And we are going to be watching a Darman Studios video. Um, pretty girl fakes nice to use boys. She instantly regrets it. He chose this, so I'm just, I'm just here for the ride. Okay. Kyra, check out this palette. I'm gonna wear this for the Romeo and Juliet edition. It's nice. <laughs> Aren't you getting anything? Um, no. Look, I know you're going for the nurse, but maybe you can, I don't know, go for the hot nurse. Ha <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, very funny. But no, I'm just gonna stick to my basic makeup routine for it. Oh, that's lame. How are you gonna be able to afford all that anyways? You're more broke than me. Well, the same way I always do. Mm. With the pretty girl discount. You're more broke than me. What do you mean, Em? Hey, we're here. Watch and learn. Hey, you. Hi. <clears throat> uh, did you find everything okay today? It, we did. Brad, wow, that's such a great name. <laughs> You're probably the cutest Brad I've ever met. Really? Well, that's really sweet of you. Cringe. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that'll be 75 98 Wait, do you think I'm cute? I be think, honest. I think you are fine. You think I'm fine? Yeah. Really? Oh. <laughs> I gotta my neck. My neck. <laughs> my neck. All right, let's. let's, let's okay, 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 okay. We're, we're okay, okay, okay. Seventy-five ninety-eight. But I, I don't have that much. Do you think you could help me out, Brad? I'm not really sure if I could. Well, so you cute. have employee discount, don't you? I'm not supposed to give it out, and honestly, I'm not even supposed to ring up my own discount myself. Don't do it, but Brad. Do it for don't be me, a simp. Right? All right. On, Brad. I can give you thirty percent. Just thirty? Well, what about this 20% off coupon? Let's make it 50. Please, Brad. I'll give you my number. Brad. Okay. Wow. But just don't say anything to anybody. You're the best. Here's my number. Fake number. How much you want to bet it's a fake number? A good day. Mm -hmm. I agree. Same thing. Oh, sorry, my what do we have today? Oh, tried and true. Yes. Are you not getting any lunch? No, I kind of spent all my money on that makeup show. Oh, Emily. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, what are you doing after school? I was thinking maybe you can come over and watch a movie with me or something. We have that project due in physics. Plus, auditions are tomorrow. I gotta practice on my monologue. But you're welcome to join me if you want. We can work on the project and run our lines together. <laughs> Hard pass, no offense, but I don't really wanna spend my night working on some lame physics project. Wait, did you finish your project already? No. Well then, what are you gonna do? You know it's like 30% of our grade, right? Uh. I'm not too worried about it. I think you're forgetting about my secret weapon. <sighs> Emily, I don't think your pretty privilege is gonna get you an A in Mrs. Blanchard's class. What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Flirt with our physics teacher? Right. Nope, <laughs> I've got a better idea. Flirt with the nerd. <laughs> hey, Nelson. Like what that's are you doing after school? Right there. Uh, like, that's already too much work. What, flirting? No, like, she's doing the most, like, taking her time and energy to do all this. Just, you know. Yeah. Like, for example, like, earlier, just pay for the thing. Like, come on, if you can't afford it, save up money. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm probably just going to study and play Minecraft like I always do. Uh, why? What's up? Uh, do you think you could help me with our physics project? Oh, yeah, of course. What part are you stuck on? I don't know, like, all of it. Okay. Uh, do, do you want to 
I mean, at my place, or, or we don't have to, it can be at the public library. Actually, I think it'd be easier if you just did it for me. Please, Nelson, it would mean a lot to me. What? Please, Avery. <laughs> With your no hair. <laughs> N-O spells no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, do you happen to have extra lunch credits for me? Uh, oh, yeah. Help yourself. It's on me. <laughs> Put it on this. Congrats. Hey, I feel like I have these lines down. Do you want to practice yours? It could be on book for you. Em. Emily. Huh? Yeah. Want me to be on book for you so you can practice your lines? Sure, sure. Here. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Um. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. <clears throat> oh, Romeo. Romeo. Where are you, Romeo? Uh, wherefore art thou, Romeo? <sighs> Auditions are in a few minutes. You didn't even memorize your lines? What were you doing last night? <sighs> Catching up on selling sunset. Those women are the level of gorge that I'm aspiring to be. <clears throat> yeah. And those women also probably put in hours of work to be signed with the O group. You're not gonna get this role if you can't, at the very least, memorize your lines. And not to mention, this is Shakespeare. Do you even know that the equinesis O oh, is a sound or cry of passion? Not just, oh. And there's also a way that you're supposed to read Shakespeare, you know, with the punctuation, you know, wrapped around the sonnet. It's, it's this, it's this, Dance that you have to. Yeah. Are you done yet? Girl. I'm trying to help you. Girl. I don't need help. I have my pretty, pretty privilege. privilege. <laughs> Besides, have you seen the new director? Hello, ladies. I'll see you on the stage in five. Hello, Emily. Nice to see you again. <laughs> he totally oh, has see me Wait, <laughs> is the professor f flirting with her? Why did he say it like that? Nice to see you again. Were they seeing each other? No. Am I tripping? Maybe like she needed help or something. I don't know. This is my first time. I don't know. <laughs> I've got this on the bag. <sighs> Listen, Em. Your looks may have gotten you free food, an A in class, but it's all gonna catch up to you. Because in life, there's no shortcuts to success. She right. You need to put in the work. <laughs> she right. Uh, hello. I worked really hard on this makeup. Changing the subject. Oh my <laughs> huh? gosh. You said what? She changing the subject. I worked so hard on this makeup. Or twere as good he were as living here and you no use of him. Thank you, Carla. That's all of our nurses. We're gonna move on to our Juliets. First up, we have Wendy. Whenever you're ready, Wendy. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt be but sworn, my love, and I will no longer be a Capulet. Mm. Thank you, Wendy. Up next is uh, Tiara. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? 
Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Oh yeah, she's good. Not. Yeah, I she's good. But sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Wow. All right. And last, but certainly not least. What do you mean by why, that? Why he got bite his lip like that? And he said, "Certainly not least." And it. You know, of <laughs> Emily. Why he say her name like that? Like everyone give it me too. Look at him. <clears throat> you saw him wink at her? No. Oh, like look. Look. Certainly not least. Look, 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 look. We have Emily. Look, 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 right here, right here. Eee! Oh, oh, Romeo, Romeo. Oh, why, why is he looking at her like that? Wherefore are you, Romeo? Deny thy, thy daddy. <laughs> at, at, oh, is it okay if I was on book for this? Sure. Uh, it said on the call sheet that it had to be memorized. Yeah, it's all right. I'll make an exception for her. He's probably just being nice because he knows there's no way she's getting Julia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, you know, it's so crazy hmm. how, like, people in life that work so hard to put all that time, you know, not just this, but, like, mm -hmm. throughout anything, but just, like, you know. Mm -hmm. And for a person who puts none of the work in, mm -hmm. puts none of the work in, they get the offer, the job, or... Oh, yeah. You know, That's always, always... It's everywhere. The person, yeah. Like, in different, like, circumstances. Yeah, you know? different circumstances, yeah. I, yeah, that happens. People would put so much effort into a position, into a job. Mm -hmm. And then some other person, some Joe Schmo or whatever, would be putting in like not even half the work that you're putting in, but they'll give him a promotion over you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, oh yeah. Which is sad. That happened to me oh. at my first job where I was putting in the work. I was a bag rat pick and save. I was pushing carts. I was doing that for months and months and months. And then some new guy comes in. And then he was there for like a month and they promoted him and they kept me still the cart guy. Oh, but yeah. Not, not just that. It's just like how, I mean, I'm going to add more to this, but like there's people too, like even taking your work for their credit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's sad. Yeah. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not be but Me sworn, too, girl. Me too. Love, <laughs> and I'll no longer be a Capulet. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out to audition for the roles of Nurse and Juliet. It was a pleasure seeing all of you perform. I've made my decision on the casting. Bro, if he, may, if he chooses her. The role of Nurse will be going to... Kyra. Oh, really? <laughs> What, why am I clapping? <laughs> I felt like I was there. The lead role, of Juliet. He's gonna choose her. Will be played by. Emily. What? You just heard. Peace. It's time to rehearse. She needs that first dance memory. You deserve it, girl. To be I honest, I would I wouldn't even I would drop. I would be like, yo, the rest of us, we need to cut this show. We're not gonna perform the show for this professor. He clearly knows. They're probably, you know. Luck tied tied. Huh? Luck tied tied. 
What? I don't know. No, they're they're hand in hand. Yep, they're hand in hand. The professor and Emily. <coughs> Excuse me. Give me leave a while. By how my bones ache. What a jones have I. Um, I would. Thou hast my bones. Mm hmm. I would have bones or whatever. Uh, can you please focus? I'm trying to, but you're not helping. You're gonna make me mess up my nails. Emily, you know what I mean. I know that you got the role, but you still need to do well on stage. Didn't you say it was your dream for us to go to CMU together for acting? <laughs> Duh. One look at me from the admissions counselor and I'm in the door, no doubt. <sighs> Being a pretty girl isn't going to guarantee you admissions into the best drama school in the country. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> Haven't you heard the saying that acting is 10% how you act and 90% how you look? I've been right so far, haven't I? Uh, you made me mess up my nail. What do you think about that? There, there may be some truth to that. Yeah, because, you know. yeah. Which is sad. It's sad, yeah. Um, yeah, I can see that there I being some truth that, to yeah. that, especially in Hollywood. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. Not just Hollywood, everywhere else. Everywhere, you're... yeah. But I'm saying especially in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, sad. God, yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we're proud to present book size rendition of Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. We are delighted to have you as our first audience to watch the show. Are you sure you're ready to go out there? Yeah, why? Is there something wrong with my makeup? No, I mean, we haven't gotten through a single rehearsal without you flubbing your lines. Don't worry about it. Everyone's gonna be so distracted by how good I look. They won't even notice. <laughs> So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy. My lips, two blushing pilgrims, ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrims. <laughs> good, good pigeon! What a jones have I. Uh, oh, I would have some bones and some news. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying. Speak, nurse. Speak. <laughs> Romeo. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, I don't know what you're so upset about. <laughs> I think the preview went really well. No, it didn't. It was a disaster. You made all of us look bad. <laughs> Please, I was the best looking one in the cast. Hence why I got Juliet. <laughs> Fine, be that way. Sorry. Hey, Nelson, uh, any chance you could buy me lunch again today? You're kidding, right? You led me on to do your project and you used me to buy you food. <laughs> used you? I don't know what you're talking about. I know about. you came. Yeah, don't be a simp. My friend works at the bullseye and you pulled the same thing on him. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Just because you're pretty doesn't mean you can treat people that way. 
Emily? She's ugly yes. on the inside. Could you please explain to the rest of the class the difference between standard concave lens, standard convex lens, and standard flat plate when it comes to refraction? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> really? But you explained it so perfectly in your project. You did do your own project, right? <laughs> Catch it up. Starts to catch up. What's wrong? <laughs> Emily, could you please stay back? I'd like to have a word with you about your project. Even or odd, of all days in the year, come Lamas Eve at night, shall she be 14. She's gonna be Juliet. Susan and she... <sighs> Did you forget your nail polish here or something? No. Uh, I came because I want your help. <sighs> your pretty privilege isn't gonna look on me, Em. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. I want to put in the work, because you're right. In life, there are no shortcuts to success. You need to put in the work. And uh, look, I'm really sorry for embarrassing you and the rest of the cast. I know we have about a week until opening night, so I really want to turn this around. So, what do you say? Let's get to work. What would you do? Would you give her another chance? Would I give her another chance? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Because people gotta learn from their mistake. People learn, people gotta learn to from grow. their mistakes. People have to grow. She's growing. She came back and mm -hmm. she's willing to put in the work um, to sort of correct her mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, the teacher probably was just like, you're failing. You're about to be the only one left behind out of your entire class. Yeah. Because pretty can only get you so far. Yes. So. That's it. No. Uh-oh. you again for helping me. I would have totally bombed it if it wasn't for you. You're the one who put in the work. You should be proud. You did. Excuse me, ladies. Uh, hi, Kyra. Yes. Hi, Jeff Douglas from the Carnegie Mellon University School of Drama. I, I know you are. Hi. Good. Good. Wonderful performance, by the way. I was wondering if you have a moment to chat with me about our program. Uh I have unlimited moments for this, yes. Okay. I'll see you later, Kyra. <laughs> Emily, wait. Uh, actually, I want to uh, talk to you as well. Really? Absolutely. You gave a stellar performance. I mean, you should be really proud of that, both of you. I can tell you're different. 
And that is what our university is looking for. <laughs> yeah, well, someone wise once told me there are no shortcuts to success. You need to put in the hard work. <laughs> you guys, you guys, excuse me, Emily, there's a video of you on TikTok going viral. Oh my gosh, what are people saying oh, now? No. Oh, Actually, I don't think I want to see it. No, 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 no. They love you. <laughs> Man. Oh my gosh, they did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Both of you guys better start getting used to that. <laughs> what do you say, shall we? Yes, go, go yes. Go. Go. Wonderful job, too, by the way. Thank you. Wow. Listen, don't use pretty privilege to get what you want. Like the lesson of the video is, you have to put in the hard work mm -hmm. in order to achieve success. There are no shortcuts. Well, some people do take shortcuts, but those are shameful, degrading shortcuts that nobody wants to take. You saw how she took her shortcuts, but she was falling short of everything else in life because she just didn't want to reach for success. She just wanted to go around the long path, which sometimes it's going to be a long road before you can achieve anything that you want to achieve. Any, any of your dreams that you want to achieve, that's going to be a long road. There are no shortcuts to this. That's my two cents. That's what I have to say. Do you have anything to add? Yeah. I think that's, you said it. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys in the next video. Let us know if you guys want to see more of these types of reactions. Peace.